peeps of YouTube. Slump will be coming at you guys in another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about working as a QMED. Um, responsibilities, duties, everything you're, you're basically going to be doing. Um, it's a lot to talk about. I'm going to try to hit everything and try to kind of give you guys a good perspective if that's what you're working towards. So we're going to get right into this. So basically, I'm going to just let you know your individual role first. So when you're QMED, you're sitting in the engine room with the third engineer. And you're basically the third engineer's, I wouldn't really say assistant, but like you're, you're helping him with whatever got to get done in the engine room. So um, you're his eyes and ears and even his arms and legs at some points in time if you got to run over and do something he's preoccupied at the moment so with that said um i'm just gonna start going down the list and things like that um so let's say on a daily basis you you're you're in the engine room and you're watch standing so when you're when you're watch standing um there always has to be someone in the engine room so if he leaves you have to stay in the engine room. If you leave, he has to stay in the engine room. So with that said, because you're the person that has to stay in the engine room if he's gone, um, the third engineer is basically in charge of the engine room and he runs the engine room, all the maintenance, everything that has to be done and oversees everything. So with you being his assistant or and or right hand man, you kind of have to have a pretty good understanding of how everything goes. Now, obviously, you can't expect to know how everything goes as soon as you get on a ship. But um, one rule of thumb that I just do for myself is when I get on a new ship, I just make sure like those first two weeks, I just pay attention. That's like, that's a big thing. Just pay attention. You feel me? Take notes. I even be having like my little notebook. I don't know where my notebook at. I be bringing one of these, you feel me? A little mini composite notebook, you feel me? Take notes, understand what what the heck is going on on the plant, you feel me? Because if something goes sideways and the third engineer is not there, like you, that's that that's you. You gotta you gotta fill in. You gotta handle the situation. Whether you're, you're gonna go take care of it completely yourself or you're calling him on the radio. Like, yo, we got a situation, this, this, and that is going on. Come back when you get a chance, but you want to be able to know what's going on, understand the systems, and be able to help out um, in situations like that. So, obviously, that's something that you're going to have to get um, in tune with and learn over time. Um, so, just understand that it's going to start at, like, you already have your regular duties and things you got to do every day, but like after you get all that stuff down, that's like the main thing you want to focus on, just understanding the systems, understanding how the things work. So you're actually like helpful and you could be you, you could be of use if something goes down. So just want to let you guys know that um, before I get into everything. So let's say daily. Um, so you're going to have your rounds every day. So your rounds is when you're basically you're doing a round walking around the engine room, um, going up and down stairs. Sometimes you have to go across the ship if there's different um, components for the for the engine room in different areas of the ship, whether that's like watertight doors. Like I know um, a lot of QMEDs deal with watertight doors. There's automatic watertight doors and there's manual watertight doors. So on my ship, we only have manual watertight doors. So. As long as the seal on that is good, we're good to go. But as a QMED, you would definitely be checking watertight doors. Just letting you know. Um, so, like I said, when you do your rounds, you're going to be walking around the engine room, um, checking all of the systems. Just to give you a couple things, like off the top of my head, um, you're going to be checking tank levels, pressure levels, temperature levels on a lot of systems. So just understand that, know that. Um, make sure you give a reading gauges and things like that. It's literally like a bare minimum requirement. Make sure you know how to read a gauge. Make sure you know how to read a gauge. Anyways, so um, what's it called? Depending on the, the ship that you're on and how big the engine room is, they're usually going to have like a set amount of times that you have to go and do your rounds around the engine room. 
So I've been on a ship where I had to do rounds every two hours and I've been on the ship where I had to do rounds twice a day. So it just depends on um, the ship that you're on, what they're expecting of you and you feel me, it's going to differ here and there. So with that said, um, aside from going around and checking everything when you're walking around the engine room, you're going to just want to be aware of everything that's going on. Um, you feel me, smells, like if you smell smoke, if you see leaks, water leaks, oil leaks, anything, you feel me, that's, you're, you're, you're the third engineer with eyes in here, so you gotta pay attention to these things, um, because it could be like a real emergency, like you smell smoke, something could be burning down, you don't know what's going on, um, so yeah, just be, a, be, be paying attention when you're walking around and things like that, um, Aside from that, you're going to have your regular duties aside from your rounds. So, like, um, that might be checking, like, the steering gear or maybe you got to change filters um, on certain days or when they get clogged. Or you might have to disassemble filters and put, put them back together during the week. Lubricating and greasing things as well. Um, it really just depends on the ship and their maintenance schedules. So, like... What I try to do is like, once I get my composition book and I get on a new ship, I just write down everything I need to know and all of my duties for that ship and depending on like my rotation. So like sometimes if you have like a four week rotation, maybe the first two weeks you might do something different. Second two weeks you might do something different because you have a, you have a, another cumulative on the opposite side of your, um, your watch. So you guys will split, um, duties and things like that. Also, you're going to be responsible for um, lifeboats, um, drills, drills as well, um, fire drills, abandoned ship, all, all, all those things. Um, so, usually we only have drills like once a week. So, it's nothing crazy, but it is kind of annoying, but you got to do it. Safety procedures and things like that. Um, and then running a lot of engines and things like that. So like the emergency diesel generator, um, checking the oil level, the starting air on that, all, all those things, making sure everything has coolant. Same thing with the lifeboats, checking those engines, doing those maintenance sometimes. Um, sometimes you'll have to run fuel to like the incinerator tank. Um, some ships have incinerator tanks, some don't. So you'll have to, I mean, the bridge will probably, not, not the bridge, the deckhands will probably call and they'll be like, oh, we need fuel, send fuel over. Um, you want to be careful when you do things like this because, yeah, you're just turning on a pump. But if they say stop and then you don't stop and then fuel goes everywhere and something's flammable and then there's a fire and it's like, you don't, you don't want to have problems. Do everything how it's supposed to be done. Pay attention. You feel me? There's, there's going to be chill time. You're always going to have chill time. But like when you're doing something that's important, doing something that's, that's dangerous, do what you got to do. Pay attention to what you're doing and be done with it. And that's it. You feel me? Because you're going to hear stories about people getting hurt and this, this and that happening. Don't, don't get caught up in that. Do what you got to do. Keep it moving. Um, and yeah, that's 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 what I'm gonna say. That's that's honestly what I'm gonna say. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have your your set duties for the week, set duties for the month, and then you're just gonna be um, on watch with your third engineer and doing um, things with him, depending on things that gotta get done in the engine room that are bigger services. So yeah, that's that's a pretty brief explanation I can give you. It it gets really deep, honestly. Um, that's why I don't want to say too much because then y'all going, if you guys have questions, go ahead and hit me on Instagram. You feel me? Slump underscore Brandon. Um, you feel me? Hit me. Ask your question down below. Either way, you feel me? Hit me. I'll, I'll fill you in. I'll give you a little bit more detail. I know it's pretty brief, but, um, I don't think, I mean, if you're mechanically inclined, I don't think it's anything crazy that you're doing. Um, I do enjoy my job. And I don't think it's, I don't find it to be that difficult. Not saying every ship, I haven't been on every ship. Obviously, difficulty is going to depend on the ship you're going on and your experience as well. So, um, yeah, just go out there ready to learn. You feel me? Um, 
open to new information, notes, learn what you got to learn. One thing I always tell people is like, if you know your job and you do your job well, nobody's going to say nothing to you because there's a lot of people that don't know how to do their job. So go out there, learn your job, do what you got to do, handle your business. Um, depending on the, the, the third engineer that you work with, make sure y'all on good terms and make sure that you're doing everything that he's expecting of you because that's important as well. You should be useful to him. <laughs> Um, that's literally like the point. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nothing crazy out there. Handle your business. What's it called? Y'all don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. As well as ask your questions down below in the comment section. If y'all enjoying these videos, um, go ahead, show some love, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, y'all know what it is. Slump would be, and we out.